Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 21st. May 21st is the 141st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 142nd in leap years, with 224 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is superlative. Superlative is an adjective, usually, but it can also be a noun. As an adjective, superlative means of, relating to, or constituting, the degree of grammatical comparison that denotes an extreme or unsurpassed level or extent. <laughs> That's a $10 phrase that means the most over the top. <laughs> As an adjective, it can also mean surpassing all others, supreme, of very high quality, excellent. It can also mean excessive or exaggerated. <laughs> As a noun, superlative refers to something that has been described as superlative, such as a person or thing or the ultimate degree of something. For reference, the superlative form of nice is nicest. The superlative form of bad is worst. Example sentences might include the superlative performance of the lead actor captivated the audience or the panoramic view from the mountaintop was superlative with its grand and beautiful vistas. This word comes to us from Middle English, Anglo-French before that, and Latin before that. First known use of the word superlative as an adjective is in the 1300s and as a noun in the 1400s. Superlative. And with that, I may very well have mentioned this in a previous year, but on May 21st, 1554, Queen Mary I granted a royal charter to Derby School as a grammar school for boys in Derby, England. Derby School had actually operated since about 1160, but had been shut down for a few years between 1536 and 1541 when Henry VIII, that guy again, Henry VIII had disbanded monasteries, priories, convents, and friaries in England, Wales, and Ireland, expropriated their incomes, and sold off any assets they might have had. Henry VIII. Anyway, on May 21, 1554, Queen Mary I issued a royal charter for the foundation of a free grammar school for the education of boys and youths in Derby. As well as I can gather, the education was free, but the students' parents did have to provide for books, pens, and candles for light. Derby School remained a boys' school until 1972 when it became co-ed, and then it closed in 1989. This is the birthday of Leo Sayer, born May 21, 1948. Born in England, he began his musical career there and then moved to Australia, I believe, in the early 2000s and has since become an Australian citizen. Leo started out as a songwriter, co-writing songs with David Courtney. One of his early works was Giving It All Away, which was a big hit for Roger Daltrey of The Who in 1973. I wanted to be sure and mention Leo Sayer on his birthday today since we had one of his songs, his song of the day, just a week ago today. <laughs> I counted in his work 16 albums and five compilation albums of him singing songs and 21 songs that he's written that have been performed either by himself or other artists and also covered by yet more artists. He may have actually written more, but those were the ones that I could find. So Leo Sayer is still working, still doing shows, turns 75 in 2023. Now, before we get on with the song of the day, let me say that I will include a link to a previous episode for May 21st in case you'd like to see what I talked about in a previous episode for this date. Today's song is Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. This song appears on his album Songs in the Key of Life and was released as a single in March of 1977. He wrote this song to pay tribute to some of music's pioneers and musicians who had helped and inspired him, particularly Duke Ellington, but also others. Bright and cheerful, this song, Sir Duke, hit that number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 on May 21st, 1977. Link in the description. 
And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoyed this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. You can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Getter. All those links in the description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Do not disturb. Okay, I turned do not disturb on. Good job. Third time better be a charm. <laughs> There's no Z there. <laughs> One more, one more time. <laughs> Attra attracting. Just read the whole thing over. Are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right, back to work. I think we got it this time.